Hey everybody, wanted to update you on some changes to my aquaponics system. So one of the things that I'm doing is I'm rebuilding uh, a filtration system so that I can have three uh, grow beds. There's one here, there will be another one that goes on top of that platform, and then there's going to be a cross one down there. So you can see I, I currently have a system that is running, but it has a very small um, cinder filter there in the barrel that you can see. But I'm going to be converting over into these larger filtration beds. So these are not for growing. I mean, I could probably put a kale plant or two in them, but it's not really for growing. It's actually more for the filtration portion. And as you can see, this is what it looks like when it's just about full. I got to put another inch or so of cinder in there. The cinder will then be the filtration with the worms. And in order to alternate, I have this trough, very similar to what I had before. And this is what an empty one looks like before I put the cinders in. So I've got a uh, pot that has uh, holes in it there that filters out so that no cinders go down the drain and then I've got this cylindrical pipe which is plumbed separately as you can see it is plumbed out and then that tube goes into the lower grow bed and what that does then is the entire bed will fill up and when the water overflows into that pipe then the float comes up and there's a mechanism that I'll, I'll attach to that, which will then flip our little um, trough so that it then begins to pour water into the other side. All right, the other change I wanted to show you is that I've upgraded my um, window frame here. So this is an aluminum sheet. It's approximately one, about an eighth of an inch thick, um, and it has been cut with a laser. Actually, this is a water cutter and that is going to be replacing this wooden one which is just getting old and it's time to redo it so i'll be doing the second tank soon but while i did that i decided i'd lift this tank up just a little bit more and you'll notice that the water in pipe is coming through the framing rather than over the top of the framing and so i'm not really losing too much height on that um, not having to pump it any higher i'm just putting it through a different place so it won't be a little bit less splashing as well uh, I have plenty of aeration, so I don't really need a whole lot of splashing going on, but that's why I did that. Well, I've finished the new Aquaponics 3.0 with both new windows in place. We've got our two tanks here. You can see our sump tank at the bottom, and then our final tank. These are for raising the little ones, and sometimes we put some big ones in there too. Today we've got uh, about 100 or so in here, maybe a little more. We've got about 50 or 60 all goldens in here. Now we have our three grow beds, one here and two at the top. Let's go take a look. Mandoa lettuce here, green onion, basil, little chives, and some mint. And then some younger Mandoa lettuce here, just starting to sprout out. You can see what it looks like when it's really young. We have a filtration system, so we have the water coming by gravity here, and it drains through this gravel to the other end and down. When it fills up, then that float comes up and flips it to the other side. And just a final follow-up for this video. Um, this has been running about six months now, and our Filtration is doing a great job of cleaning the water. And I just wanted to point out that I also have a lot of gate valves on this system. Gate valves really help to isolate uh, different tanks. And then underneath here, there's a gate valve for each of these cinder beds so that I can adjust how much flow out there is. The flow out is important because we want the flow out to be a little bit smaller than the flow in so that it fills up. As you can see here, it's getting to the top. And once it gets to the top, just above that cinder level, then is when it starts to pour over into our cylinder. And then of course it presses down on the other side of that lever and flips it to the other side. I noticed that I needed to have a much greater range of um, movement on this side in order to give us the strength to push this small lever 
and flip this over. So you need to have that magnified. If you're going to do a mechanism like this, it's not a one-to-one -one thing. Um, it'll get stuck in the middle. You got to have a way to have greater greater leverage on it. Uh, and so that's how I manage that. Okay, I've also been picking a lot of lettuce lately, so you're going to see how spotty this is. But that's because I've cleaned out a lot of the mature lettuce, and I've got some that's actually um, starting to uh, get over ripe, starting to bolt there, you can see. But this is about my third round since I put this in, at least the third, maybe the fourth round of lettuce since we put this in, oh, maybe um, uh, maybe not quite six months ago, but it's been running. So if you recall the size of those fish right when I set it up, So you can see this is the same group of fish that were little babies. As you can see, these grow beds are flow style. And so underneath there, I've got a nice stable of guppies that take care of all the mosquito larvae that might come in there. Um, mosquitoes like water, but in order to keep them away, we actually invite them to lay their eggs in here because then the guppies will eat the larva and then it essentially kills off the local population of mosquitoes. And that is very helpful. This is a one pump system. The pump in this sump tank uh, pumps the water out underground here, comes up and over into my two IBC totes, down through the bottom, up over to the other side. So that is Kind of coordinated so that it will hold its height uh, in the IBC totes. Then from there down into these grow beds and from here one of them drains into the other grow bed and the other one drains into the final tank and then that final tank drains into the sump just as that final grow bed does. So this is a one pump system using gravity to bring the water all the way back around to the sump tank. Hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little bit more about aquaponics.